But uh, this is a good this is a good way to as we're talking about sort of being um, more uh, you know thoughtful and you know not saying anything nasty and just kind of being more responsible with how we talk and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Let's hop into um, uh, let's hop into a subject we know a lot about, which is fans potentially sexually assaulting people. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> hey. yeah. Hey, Q, speaking of Law and Order, uh, this is this is our specialty. We're a Law and Order Warp Tour unit. <laughs> SWU <laughs> special <laughs> warped unit. <laughs> yeah, and, but it's like it's really poppy. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba. It's like ba -ba, a, it's ba -ba, with, a, with ba -ba. horns and shit. Or the, <laughs> Some the off ska beats. version. <laughs> ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, somebody somebody ba -ba, find us the ska version of Law and Order theme, and that that'll be our that'll be our music. That would be. I was just listening to fucking Green Day the other day. We would do that thing that every fucking pop punk band does, where it's like, Doo, da, 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 you know, yeah. what they do on the <laughs> end of fucking three or whatever, or yeah, the yeah, end yeah. of four. <laughs> that's our that's our SVU music. But yeah, sorry, Andy. Exactly. Let's get let's get to the bottom of this bullshit because I love these counter goddamn tweets from both sides. Let's get into this because as a music podcast, we have to dig deep into sexual crimes and we're not fucking apologizing for this either justin not, not one piece of it justin uh no justin. <laughs> <laughs> but for real for real though yeah. we did talk about it and there are developments in the case so yes. and i found this to be interesting this is not getting bigger when i click on it that's what, <laughs> that's she, what said. she said huh guys uh, uh, hey. uh, i beat you to the bad joke chloe um, liked that one but uh stanley didn't anyway stanley who the fuck cares about stanley yeah, um but yeah, I guess uh, Justin Sane tweeted this. Recently, there have been claims of sexual assault made against me, and I can tell you that there's that these stories are categorically false. I have never engaged in a sexual relationship that was not consensual, nor have I ever been approached by a woman after a sexual encounter and been told I had in any way acted without her consent or violated her in any way. Now that I have had her... Now, if I, now that I've had a few days to absorb the initial shock, I am making this statement to set the record. So, like, that out of the gate, it, yeah. this always makes me laugh where it's like, because he's, you and me are in our 30s. He's probably, like, 40 or something, a little older yeah, than us. Probably, And yeah. it's like, dog, you grew up, you were probably born in the early 80s and shit. You definitely, like, that was me too. The whole me too experience yeah. was, like, it's because whole, that was normalized then. <laughs> the big, yeah, the big take. Now, a lot of dumb, bad shit happened because Me Too. Uh, a lot of people taking, getting taken down off of very little info and all this. But also, the other thing that happened for like normal people. Holy shit, they, he's 50. He's 50? Justin Sane, right? S A N E? Or is it Zane? Did Sane. I spell it right? He's 50. Zane, Zane with the S, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's 50 years old. Holy no shit. shit. Oh, but the um the, right. the like I think it was like the main takeaway from a lot of average people where it's like it's like that thing where you look back at girls like when we were younger, girls gone wild ruled. And now awesome. that we're older, now that we're older, we're like, oh, that was not chill at all. <laughs> but, but you know, you know, what's really shitty, though, is, is the fact that I think that the way you just put it is I wish how more people would put it like back. And it's not saying like a different time or anything like that. But legitimately, it I thought all those chicks were totally down yeah. to like, show their like i thought that was i thought it was win win and well, that's that was, how it was sold to us but it, you're right at, at that time you're like but now you look back at it and you're like it's people that look back at it and go like yeah i just never felt comfortable watching those videos like fuck off everybody <laughs> loved those commercials you dickhead well that, it's not, that it's not, i never it never felt victimizing i never saw the reaching for the titties parts or stuff like that I just, yeah i never well, thought that was the key but the that commercials was like the, were radical. yeah <laughs> that was like the key that was like the key takeaway from me too that got overshadowed by all the like chaos and nonsense is it's it's like there was a grain of uh a positive result where it was like yeah like i like i said there was a lot of shit when i was younger that you were like you know and it's not like wait a minute rape's bad it's not like yeah. that no, there no, was no. A, there was a lot of shit when you and me were younger that you'd be like, oh, that's super chill and everyone's having a good time. And then you get older and you're like, it was a lot less chill than we thought, guys. Yeah, that was bad. That was real bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, so yeah, you're saying? right. So you can't say that you can't say if he's a 50 year old man 
that he has been completely was, morally clean his entire existence. Yeah, you know odds I mean? are, odds are that a fifty-year-old man who's been playing music for the majority of his, I'm guessing, late teens uh, and into adult life, you've the odds that you've ever had an experience that didn't go a little funky. Right. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Right. Like he was, he was probably he probably has a couple girls gone wild receipts on his credit card. You know. Yeah, but also a Allegedly. little. But also a little a little funky ain't something to take a whole guy's career away. Um, the but, bigger but, the, yeah. the bigger question was there. Also, I, I think the weird wording that it was the thing that was wording uh, that was worded weird to me. Excuse me, was the fact that when he says I've never been approached by a woman that said that well, I was inappropriate or something, whatever whatever he said. How do you say it? Uh, oh yeah, I've never been approached by a woman after a sexual encounter and been told I was in any way acting without her consent or violating Yeah, I don't her. think I think if they feel that after the case, I don't think that they're ever going to approach I think they feel uh they feel uncomfortable enough to go to the police or anything like that. I don't I don't have never heard of anybody going to their uh, uh assaulter and be like, "Hey, I felt like uh, you're a little I didn't feel a little rough last that. night. I didn't like it." You know what I mean? Yeah. Cuz they feel unsafe. I don't know. But that's that might just be nitpicking. I think that was a weird thing to yeah, say. Yeah, I, I think but, he's I think he's being lawyery with his wordage. Let's finish yeah. this. Let's Sorry, get to yeah. the second half of this very short statement. You and me are too <laughs> fucking ADD to get to. Um, sexual assault is real. Can, I agree. <laughs> I mean, maybe no, 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 no. My my my, my huffing and puffing is just like like we always. Uh, we always joke about us being autistic, but like these people say these things. Like, right? here's the thing, guys: sexual assault is real. And you're like, no shit, dickhead. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Justin. You're the final. I feel, I feel heard and I feel seen. You know what? I'm gonna call you just sane, not insane. <laughs> <laughs> the, the lady's like, you know what? I'm gonna drop the charges. I gotta. I gotta. <laughs> this is. I mean, he under he acknowledged it. So <laughs> sexual assault is real and has a devastating impact on victims. Um, but that bitch was lying. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but uh, I have never done that. <laughs> <laughs> I have devoted my entire adult life to standing up for these victims as well as those suffering oppression and inequality who are victimized, demeaned and abused. So he's just like, yo, that I support a little too much. Like I now, support... now we have to look into like, has he been human trafficking? And also, <laughs> What else has you been up to, Justin? This <laughs> Why are you just bringing in. all that stuff up? This, ju <laughs> this just in. Just insane. African warlord. <laughs> <laughs> he's, dude, he's like in a he's in the uh, Black Panther outfit, like with the AK, like sitting there on a throne with a cigar, like. <laughs> Dude, you watch that? Did you ever see? Um, did you ever see that Vice video about uh General Butt Naked? Yeah, dude. <laughs> you just watch it again and you realize there's Justin Say in his skinny jeans in the back. Like, <sighs> oh my god, I totally <laughs> ate part of that baby. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I've never, I've never been approached by a baby that said, "Why'd you eat me?" <laughs> I've never been approached by a baby saying, "Why did you eat my heart?" <laughs> Justin Say. <laughs> I've spent my whole Ooh. life. What well, now, if Justin? If you're watching this, Justin, I know we're gonna clip this, Justin. <laughs> it's a joke, okay? The we're songs are great. Joking. The songs, songs are great, great Justin. Okay? <laughs> we don't think you're an African warlord. I'm just joking. <laughs> we're just joking. I might have to delete this. Alleged. I don't want Justin to say anything. I'm an African warlord. <laughs> uh, Justin here. Or he's an African warlord. <laughs> Didn't eat babies, okay? But I enjoy his work. <laughs> guys you gotta separate the yeah. music from the baby eating. we're just this is we're we're comics we're just joking we're a couple clowns i'm gonna tell <laughs> about your sexual song so. <laughs> i have always been and will always be that person the statements being told about me are the antithesis of what i believe and how i've conducted myself throughout my life in regard to anti-flag disbanding as a band the decision was made that under these circumstances it would be impossible to continue I want to thank my family and friends and the many, many fans, musicians, and bands who have reached out to me just to quit. offer their support and help. That's crazy. That's crazy that they just like, they're like, we, it's impossible to move forward, which I kind of agree with. They're like, they like, as far as this is, this is almost of, and I know you're, I think we talked about this last time. This is on the level, in my opinion, of like a Cosby esque band or like a Cosby esque person ending up being a sexual assault 
uh, maniac. It's like one of those things of like being like, like I'm so moral, I'm so perfect. Yeah, they're saying like we stand up for against sexual assault people and and all this other shit, and then they're like, whoopsie, it, it is impossible. You can't go on because you would be the most hypocritical band if, and and this is because as of right now, it's just allegations, right? I don't even know if there are there charges as far as we know. I don't think so. It would it. I don't think technically as of right now, it would be impossible. But it would be very improbable. And I, I'm sure a lot of your fans would be like, I don't know if I want to support you, buddy, because yeah. you have a song called Believe All Women or, you know, like, you, you know what I mean? Like where they're like, wait, but 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 not. Well, let's take that off the set list. <laughs> you, guys, you, guys, you guys remember the anti flag hit single. If a woman accuses you of anything, you have to believe her and disband your long term ban, even right. if you didn't do anything wrong. That's my <laughs> thing is like it's not evidence. It's not evidence. I want to be very clear. It's not evidence, but I'm just, right. this is another case of that thing where you're like, it was, it reminded me of, and now I don't think anything Justin insane did was, um, on, uh, like Chris D'Elia levels, but like Chris D'Elia was a perfect example where they were like, he was like, I did nothing wrong. Anyway, I'm just going to disappear for six months. And then over time, over time, it was like, oh, he did so much stuff. Like, whoa, look at all the shit he did wrong. And he's like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like looking at I'm just looking at this like, yeah, I got to be honest. There is this yeah. isn't like this doesn't feel like things done by a guy who didn't do anything. That's just the vibe I'm catching. Right. That's what I, that's what we were talking about last uh, last time about basically saying, like, I'm not saying this. This has. Oh, that, that's what was, that's what it was. That's what I compared it to last time it has OJ vibes it has the thing of like, this feels like him jumping in a white Bronco and getting on a low speed chase being like, I'm fucking innocent. <laughs> and you're like, what? Why do you have a gun no. to that guy's head? And you're, <laughs> and you're like, I'm because it's because of how innocent I am. Ah, I'll kill myself. <laughs> and, Dude, you're like, and and I, I'm sure they've the other part of this that annoys me, too. Like if he didn't do anything wrong, because there, yeah. there is a scenario where he didn't do anything wrong, but they are overreacting to this. Mm -hmm. And it and but it's like this is almost like, yeah, this is why you don't accumulate a, a fan base of psycho progressives, because like um that like if you didn't do anything wrong, you should easily be like, yo, this was back. Yeah. This was back in the day. We had a night. I thought we had fun. If yeah. she felt uncomfortable, I apologize. I, I I didn't mean to make her uncomfortable. You know, there was miscommunication. Sex sex can be, you know, sex can be a complex thing sometimes. Yeah, you know, something like that. And then able, people yeah. could go, people could go, oh, okay. You know, and then you like move on. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, have yeah. you never have you never been having sex and you like try a thing and then afterwards the girl's like, I didn't like that thing. And you're like, got it. I won't do that thing ever yeah. again. Yeah, because also there's a, there's the age old thing of of basically like the the consent asking like at what point like consent I I was always led to believe the consent was like okay well like you say like hey uh you wanna you wanna do sex and they go like yeah and then you do it but then like yeah. apparently you have to continue to go like okay so we're gonna switch positions is this cool well that's the new <laughs> that's gotta the go new. like. I'm going to fish hook you real quick. Is that, that all right? If I go ahead and just pinch one of your tits, really, can I pinch a tit? Yeah, that's like all the right. new, I mean, that's that cool. was always like the, you like that? <laughs> that was always, that was like always the fucking, that was always like the unspoken rules of like choking or whatever the hell. Yeah. You it's know like, what it, I mean? Yeah. You, you kind of, you, you got to go you, for it. You, you're having sex and then your hands move a little higher and then right. the, the, like shoulders and then you're like, she's not stopping it. And then, and then you, you put them there for a sec. Cause you start off, I'm just getting leverage. I'm right. just getting leverage. Yeah, yeah. I'm not squeezing. I'm just getting leverage. And then, you know, starts to get a little heavier and you're like, hmm. Huh? And then and then their hands go there, but you're like, okay, so she just wants to monitor it. She's gonna let yeah. me know when to stop. And then like you, you and know, then they're dead. She, and then you're like, <laughs> wait a minute. You're like, bitch, you idiot. If you're I dead, didn't fucking come yet, you stupid bitch. <laughs> you gotta don't be fucking dead. You have to consent to this, you fucking yeah. idiot. Hey, bitch, do you fucking consent to being dead? <laughs> you that's not funny. Hey, dead. guys, that's not funny. Hey, guys. Capra, Capra, anti-flag, that one girl that commented two weeks ago, that's not oh, yeah. funny. That's not funny. But still, in this case, it's a it's a situation where you have to get consent each time. Okay, Andy? It, it turns into the most sterile, dirty talk. Yeah. It, it's, Can I? May I thrust? Do you? Yes. Uh, 
Do you like this? Here, Pat, let's do let's do, do you... continual consent sex. Patrick, okay. may I thrust? Uh, yeah, uh, Andy, I do give you clearance to thrust. Go ahead and uh, go for, go for thrust. Thrust? Can I thrust again? Uh, one more. Yeah, can you go a little bit, uh, just two percent more shallow with this one? Okay, shallow thrust. Patrick, may I thrust again? Oh yeah, that one was a good one. Can you do, give me another one of those? Yeah, everyone's dry. Everyone's yeah. dry as Who's shit. Coming right now. Nobody's coming. That's <laughs> not, not that's one not person cool. is coming. You gotta you gotta try a little, but Andy, communication is key. If you are, if you're nervous about a situation, that's normal. But if you don't say anything, you can't, you can't assume that that it was a malicious attempt. So I'm not saying that there wasn't an, this is this, you got to say, is this, is this an Aziz? Is this a, is this a Louie <laughs> or is this a Dalia? Or are we getting into like grooming and we're getting to Epstein? You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like we're, we're, there's a spectrum here and, and there's a, and, and honestly, it's a spectrum that has been created because it's not saying like the public is going to prosecute this person with their fucking. Is it like Epstein? You gotta fly, gotta fly, gotta fly <laughs> to my island so I can have sex with kids. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest. I didn't hear a word you said because I was figuring out that in my head. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yeah, I think, I think." In Dude, general, where are you gonna get Epstein anti-flag jokes? Yeah, nowhere. Right. Subscribe. And, and if you're if you're listening to that lady who commented a couple of weeks ago, then you're apparently only gonna get one, and then that's yeah. it. Well, that's the other part. That's why, as as I do have feelings, I'm a real person. We can't be we can't be adherent to the to the fucking comments and the yeah, right. bands and hey, their opinions. Didn't, didn't we gotta be ourselves. We gotta be ourselves, one, Pat. At the end of the fucking day, we gotta be ourselves. And if you're gonna give me some, one rape joke, yeah, you gotta give me one. One. Wait, hold on. Was it one each? Do we get one each? Was that no, it? No, you're not. You might as well like. Put me in jail before you limit me to one. Yeah, you can't. Can I exchange? If I don't want to make a fat joke, can I exchange that for another one? No, Pat. We are exchanging these drape jokes on the free market, not their fucking commie. Uh, how, much Bitcoin, uh, how much Bitcoin you have to buy another one? Can I get? Uh, <laughs> can I give me... <laughs> how much that rape joke cost in Bitcoin? Let's yeah. read this uh, other. Oh yeah, this is from this is from the this is from Chris, Chris, and Pat. Yeah, and I wanted to. This is from Double Chris and Pat. Oh, this is really funny, by the way. Like, when, like, really think about your silly band names. Mm -hmm. Um, when you're, uh, like, when you're picking your Imagine, silly yeah. band names of like Just Insane and Chris Number Two and uh, 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 I forget the other ones, Anti Chris or whatever they're called. Anti Pat. <laughs> yeah, when they're um. When they're when you're thinking of your silly names, and then they're gonna have to print those when talking about sexual assault, it's super yeah. awkward. Yeah, no, yeah. They, they, I wanted to read the band statement because it just had some really interesting shit in here. Uh, statement from Chris, Chris, and Pat, which is the rest of the band. Uh, a core tenet of the band Anti Flag is to listen and believe all survivors of sexual violence and, and abuse. The recent allegations about Justin are in direct contradiction to that tenet. Therefore, we felt only immediate options was to disband. So, if you just say anything about the members of Anti Flag, they will, they will, they will abandon you. Will, you are gone. You are, that, you are, you are no longer a part of this organization I that never, you started with. I <laughs> never realized the frame of anti, the structural integrity of Anti Flag was so flimsy. Yeah. If one person. <laughs> You don't need any. Yeah. Just in any context of this conversation, you could just come at Anti Flag with they did a bad thing, and they'll immediately go, "Oh, okay, we'll completely end this twenty year career." <laughs> yeah, and so this is this is so uh, okay. So, Andy, oh, I, Jesus, I thirty years. They've been around I, for thirty years. Yeah, that's crazy, right? I feel like the craziest thing to me is like I I can't tell is this Anti Flag being a hundred percent anti-flag still but just without one of their members like they're just being super consistent or did anti-flag the rest of the members know that there was some kind of tension whether it be uh, assault uh riddled or whatever well, this whatever with like if this, this was a past relationship they had and she was like hey man justin keeps fucking with me and i hate this and they're like sorry 
and they thought they could get away with it and maybe they're like they're right now they're like we got to cut you out dude because yeah well this correlates <laughs> that what you're saying kind of correlates to this comment uh 30 I wonder... years is is like that's a level where you could replace him and keep going because he's not the only main singer there's two singers right no that's a de that's definitely a, a a interesting theory on yeah, this yeah. uh but yeah this comment by official bna music oh, i wonder yeah. I wonder if the rest of the band was in the dark like Lost Prophets were. Oh, was in Maybe. the dark. I don't know. Well, it, it, like, and I'm just, once again, I'm purely going off how this reads on its face where the, like, one scenario is, like, was this a lingering problem? And then it finally came to light and the band was like, we were, we knew this was going to happen. All right, right, let's get the fuck out of here. It's been a good run. That's, that's what it seems like to me. Yes. That's, that's what, what it feels like. like. Here, let's yeah. read the rest of this. We have been, we, uh, I always forget what the Lost Prophets things was, but apparently the lead singer was doing some dark, dark shit. Darn it. Um, we have been shocked, confused, saddened, and absolutely heartbroken from the moment we heard these allegations. While mm. we believe this is extremely serious, in the last 30 years, we had never seen Justin be violent or aggressive towards women. This experience has taken has shaken us to our core. We understand and apologize that this response may not have been quick enough for some people. That's I it. mean, you disbanded. The it's the word. You disbanded over a podcast where they didn't say anyone's name directly after like after a week. So here's the word. Here's the wording. Okay, they say we've been we have been shocked, confused, saddened, and absurdly heartbroken from the moment we heard these allegations. Right? I yeah. believe that. But they're not specifying when they heard the allegations, Andy. So they're not lying still. Uh, we understand and apologize for this response. We may not have been quick enough for some people. What are you talking about? The allegations come out one day and the next day you disband. So dude, you, you definitely heard about them before. Because they you literally, dude, it was a podcast that they didn't say anyone's names in. Right. The next day, yep. anti flag breaks up. So they definitely knew ahead of time, and they're trying to cut the fucking. And it's like in a zombie movie when they get bit and they try to cut the arm off before the infection spreads to the rest of the band because they definitely knew. And he is probably. And they also said, what, what was another thing? They said, we never saw Justin be violent towards women. Is which means they've definitely heard something. So I bet this is a past relationship that she went to the rest of the band and said, "What should I do?" And they're like, "Uh, uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Break up with them? I, like, and, yeah, and possibly. Like, well, what should we do? I think we might be. Able, let's just say. And then it was quiet for a while. And then, yeah, no, he, I, I could see you know I mean? that. I could see that possible scenario, you know, in my playing. opinion, that's my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Legally, in your opinion, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, to cover our ass. But but that but in that statement, We're just they are not technically lying. They're saying all of the truth. Yes. When we heard it, it was shocking to us and we wanted to we couldn't believe what yeah. happened. And I'll how would anybody say this response wasn't quick enough? What are you fucking talking about? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think you're basically getting at what we're trying to say is like, hey. obviously we don't, <laughs> obviously we don't know the truth. Facts are important, right? You know, facts are very important in this situation, but this is just it's it, this is what it stinks, stinks of at the it moment. It fucking stinks. It yeah, fucking yeah. Stinks, Andy. It fucking right. stinks like sexual assault. And I fucking <laughs> like it. Sorry, 